everyone, it is Maddie Westbrook and welcome back to Closet Talk. Today our guest is Asher Lieberman and I am so excited because we both have a lot in common. You might know him from his TikTok, Stinky Asher, and we blew up at the same time on the internet when both of us were still in school. And now I'm so excited because we get to play a very fun game that our Queen Amanda has set up for us today where we are going to copy Oh my gosh, that sounds like we're stealing. We're gonna copy Ash's content and we are going to impersonate strangers in everyday life. Welcome, Asher. Sorry I had to yell for a second there. No, that was really exciting. This is so cool. <laughs> okay, wonderful. And now to transition into the main segment of the podcast where Asher and I will be impersonating everyday people. But he is one of the best I have ever seen at it. Oh, and not just everyday people. You come up with the most crazy, innovative, just characters that I've Thank ever you. seen. Like, Thank you. Your videos will come up like just in my feed. And like every time I just have to watch like all the way to the end, like they're so funny. Do you ad lib it or is there a script? There's no script. Because ever. your videos are so long. Yeah. They're like a full minute and a half yeah. of you like, are you just riffing? A lot of the time it's improv. So I'll have like maybe a line that I really want to say. Maybe like I'll form a video around a like line that I think is really funny. Exactly. That was so... I thought of that line. I was like, I need to, I need that to. That was it. so amazing thank you yeah thank you yeah so i'll have a line or i'll like sit down and then what i have to do is i also have to like, get in costumes it's like yeah that's like i have point. to wear up my pilgrim outfit. i want to <laughs> i want to see i want to see your closet <laughs> oh it's i have a drawer for it like yeah. i have so many different costumes. no i don't doubt that yeah I don't and then i just that. sit there and i just hit record and i see what comes out of my mouth i love that yeah yeah that's probably one of the most impressive things because when i'm editing my videos or i'm creating a video i have to pause i have to be like okay What's funny? Like I have to sit there and think of a line and then say it and then sit there and think of a line and say it. That's why there's like a lot of lots of like cuts in my videos. Yeah. But you're just sitting there and you're going, you're going, you're going. It's so impressive. Yeah. I mean and I take I it. take hours though. Like not hours, but like I'll have a lot of different drafts of it. Oh, one hundred. So like many versions of yes. the final product. But yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. But um what has been your favorite character that you've played? <laughs> My favorite, I really loved my Hunger Games tribute goes live series. It was so fun to just be like a killer and like, just, I think, oh, I, love I think that was also like so niche and impressive that you kind of pulled that out right as like the new Hunger Games is coming. Well, that out. was intentional. Well, 100%. Yeah. It was just, I don't know. That's just like, you have to get it at the right moment uh -huh. and you got it at the right moment. Yeah. You have to, it's a lot of just like going on my For You page and seeing what like public sentiment about different things. Like what's, what do I see more people talking about? And then I have yeah. to, you try to try, like hop onto that trend pretty quickly. Yeah. As fast as you can. Yeah. Because trends used to be like, oh, like this is still a trend like a week or two later. Mm -hmm. Trends nowadays are like 24 hours. Like one second, like 20 minutes. <laughs> 20 minutes. <laughs> like it's so yeah. fast. No, I don't know. And I'm still, I still get Hunger Games out of some for you page. Oh, me too. I love the Hunger Games. I love it. If I could be in the Hunger Games, I would. Really? Yeah. Do you think you'd win? Yes, actually. It's just scary. That's everyone's toxic <laughs> trait. I know everyone in this room. Actually, you have to go into those games thinking that you're going to win. Yeah. You know what I mean? You yeah. can't just like, I feel like Caesar right now, like Asher. What are your strong suits? Oh, I could go on and on. No, Why I'm are you going to win <laughs> the Hunger Games? No, and also like if the Hunger Games is real, it's kind of bad, but like I would be obsessed. Like I'd watch it. It's like a real the ultimate reality show. Oh, <laughs> you're not wrong, and You love those shows. Like I would be into it. Like I'm so not like the, you know, I don't know if like I the actual like, killing part. But. I feel like you'd win and then be one of those sponsors that sits in on the like Hunger Games witnessing the, the kids. Oh, I'd live stream it. <laughs> I'd fully live live you'd be, the, live you'd be the social media coordinator oh, for the yeah. Hunger Games. Oh my god, I would love it. Oh, the outfit. I would do like reviews for all the outfits and stuff yes. that they're wearing. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that would actually okay. Besides the like child, like literal child death. Right. Part, forget that about would that part. Be, <laughs> that would be such an amazing thing to see take over like the world on TikTok. I kind of want them to do like a rendition of like the Hunger Games like as a reality show. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know how they would do that, but like I would wa I would watch it. Yeah. No, I love that. Yeah. I walked out of the first Hunger Games at 12 years old and I was like, I'm gonna win. I, I, so, win. I started practicing archery in my room. Like <laughs> my brother got a bow and I was in the background like... <laughs> oh, I'm so jealous. I wanted a bow so bad. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, I was bad at it and I should not have been touching it. <laughs> but I was a whole Katniss, a whole Katniss ever in the back of my... I was so jealous. I wanted to be a tribute so bad in that movie. Obviously, now it's kind of impossible unless they do like a TV show rendition, which honestly, hear me out. 75 Hunger Games. You could make 75 seasons. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Of, okay, Suzanne Collins, come here, baby girl. Like, I went to DM her on Instagram 
full transparency, girl doesn't have an Instagram, but I was trying to find a business email because I was like, we need more. We need more. Make something up. Make a TV show of every single one. And you, she could just sit on set and be like, you die next. Yep. Like she could just make it all up. Her mind is so powerful. We would eat it up. Did you know, I saw this video. This is not my own in-depth research, but she wrote like children's books for years before coming out with Hunger Games. She wrote like a line Hmm. of children's books for like six or seven years. Hmm. And then out of nowhere, dropped the three hardest dystopian novels to ever exist. Changed my life. Well, for now with the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, which for the record, I kind of, I didn't get canceled. It wasn't like a cancel moment, but I tried to make a funny video about it. And I was like, oh, in the movie, she sang a lot. And okay, no matter what, no matter what you say, Mm -hmm. no matter if it's like- Careful. (laughs) I know. Hear me out. Hear me out. Some parts were hard to watch. Like if if she got- if, if homegirl got whipped on a stage and was like, okay, you're going to die in approximately a few days, and you start to sing, girl, like... I- okay, but, like, if you're a good singer, like, why wouldn't you sing? Like, like if someone... If you knew you were going to die, like, why wouldn't you just show off your talents? True. Like, I would just sing, too. I know. It was just a moment where I was like, oh, my God, what is going on? Why is she singing? And that was, like, the first musical number of the, <laughs> of the movie. So I, I was like, yeah. you know, throughout That's the movie, random. you get used to the musical numbers. But I went home, and I thought it'd be funny. And I made a video that was like, no one, Lucy Gray every half second. And I strummed the guitar, and I, like, did a little thing, and then Ooh, it cut I off. Can imagine. And comments. then all the comments were oh, like, it's called imagine. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes for a reason. I was like, it was a joke. Oh, I literally, gosh. I promise, I love the movie. It was a joke. I loved it. It was so good. <laughs> Life changing. I'm going I'm to go see it again. Uh-huh. Yeah, never again. Never messing with that. Never messing with that. The Hunger Games stands. We will come for and, you. And the thing is, I'm a stand too. Like mm-hmm. I read the books when I was like in the seventh grade, out of order for some reason. I read the second one first. The second one was the best one though. So good. So, so good. yeah, we had to read it for school actually. Like it was in the curriculum for seventh grade. That's so awesome. I know we had to act it out too. There was a part. <gasps> oh, I so I I remember this so vividly. There was a part we had like people like go act it out in the middle, and there was a part where like we were re- like the teacher would read it out loud, and it was like she clapped her hands over her mouth. And the girl that was in the middle went (laughs) Instead of going she went just in front. And that was one of the funniest moments of my entire life. I actually think of that's my Roman Empire. Like when you And I I guarantee if you ask anyone in that class, they'll all remember that too. Like that was the funniest thing that ever happened. I love that. I miss school. Yeah. Like not college, but I miss like high school. Yeah. Actually middle school elementary school those are the where, where there was no stakes well and you just i have like such an adult brain now yeah. and it sucks because i'm i feel like i'm all like oh taxes no and literally it sucks because like i miss when i was just like aloof in the world like running free trees yeah you know well yeah. i can still be like pretty trees but now i'm thinking about like what are the environmental impacts of these trees like, <laughs> you know what i mean like it's ugh, it's too much my brain is annoying. <laughs> I know. The first time I, l- I watched the Lorax, I was like, I want a truffy tree. And then the yeah. second time I watched the Lorax when I was like 23, I was like, oh, dang, this is dark. This is like actually. Like this is a, like a parallel a, to our <laughs> lives. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is like we're going down this rabbit hole now. Mm-hmm. We're like, oh, my gosh, this could actually happen. Are we Thneedville? Like, yeah, the whole. <laughs> I want a Thneed, though, really bad. We're going to actually play the game now because we just, I don't know what we even talked about for the past 15 minutes, but we are going to play the game now. And I'm so excited because you're the, you're the best at the biz. You know what's up. Stop. Yeah. Well, now I'm nervous. Like, I'm going to fail. No, like. you're not going to because I feel like I'm going to do the most standard like cookie cutter like impressions of these people. We're going to have to do a little role play here. Okay. Some improv. Okay. Okay. Help. Okay. <laughs> I should have taken that improv class that Carter, <laughs> t- Carter told me to take. I okay. Didn't. I got rejected from the improv club in my school, but... Here we are. Okay, ready? Help. Okay. <laughs> I should have taken that improv class that Carter told me to take. And I okay, didn't. I got rejected from the improv club in my school, but. How do you even get rejected from improv class? I was one of two to get rejected. So, uh, uh, who knows? <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, I'm ready. ready. I'm ready. Hey. No, it's the eye contact. Is it? It's, I don't know. Is it? <laughs> keep going. We keep going. Keep going. Okay. Ready? Oh. What do you mean, hey? Like, What's up? <laughs> hey, like, <laughs> my tummy hurts. Oh, does it? It does. Well, my tummy hurts too. <laughs> I'm just going to look at the camera anymore. I can't take this. <laughs> I, it's crazy because I think I'm that friend. I think I'm that friend that is always just like, oh my gosh. This is my contact one though. What? Mm-mm. It's getting to it. I'm building it up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. Okay. So what's going on? Okay. We're just, let's just have okay, a conversation. Okay. I just want to talk. Conversation. How was your yeah. day? How was your flight? Did you come in today? Why do you want to know that? Because I, I, oh my God. I just, <laughs> sorry. No one just like asked me questions before, so it's just like the pick me. <laughs> no, it's just like I'm just really happy that like you're asking questions, like trying to get to know me and stuff, and oh, like yeah. just about like me, like you choosing me right now. And I you know what I mean? It's like the pick me. Close, close. Keep it's going. We need, we need some more. We need okay, some more. We need some more. We need, yeah. we need some more. I I want to know about your day because I care about you. You care about me? Yeah. Well, that's really cute. I 
care oh, about God. you too. I'm... We should care about each other maybe over drink sometime or something. I don't know. I'm so scared right now. Mika. It's the friend that thinks everyone's flirting with them. Like the Delulu friend that thinks everyone's flirting with them. I thought that's what you were doing. It's a little, it's close to pick me. I get it. Yeah. It's close. You'll get 0.5 points for, th- for uh, that I one. I love a 0.5 point. Yeah. Yeah, I love Halfway a good half point. Okay, it's my turn. Oh my God. Okay. Oh my God. Tell me like what, if you need me to role play with you or like what? Okay. Oh, oh, oh gosh. I, th- I feel like I have to be mean for this one and I don't want to be mean. You can be so mean to me. It's fine. So mean to you? Yeah, look, that's totally fine. I promise anything you've, you're you going to say, I've said worse to myself. Oh. oh. So you can just be oh. mean to me. It's fine. Okay, 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 okay. Your hair is so short. Like, did you did you mean to do that? You look great, though. Like, you're, you look amazing. Oh, um, yeah, I did mean to do yeah, that. Yeah, you did mean. Oh, I did. Okay, like, no, you look so good, though. Like, it's so cute. Okay. And, um, your your outfit today is like, did you did you like look at yourself in the mirror before you put that on? I did. And that's why I wore it. Oh, oh, I think you need to get your mirror adjusted. Okay. <laughs> but no, 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 no. I'm, I'm kidding. You look amazing. You look I amazing. think I know this one. Yeah. Okay. Wait, do I? Is it the friend that's passive aggressive? Mm. No, that's not even one of them. You're that's the close. friend that's on one hundred all the time. Mm. No, the friend that's oh the friend that's mean for no reason. Kind of, that's like super close. It's the friend that's always just joking. Oh 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 oh, got you. Yeah. got you. Okay. I didn't want to be like oh I'm just kidding because then that just gives, that it, gives away. it away. Okay, no, so I, I got was you. trying to be like I got you. Okay, I was trying to beat around the bush. Yeah, no, because I have good. friends who are like I don't know. I definitely have that one friend that's like. Oh my gosh, you look so cute. Did you mean to put that on? Like, and I'm, and then they're just like, oh, but you look so cute. Like, I'm just kidding. And I'm like, I want to literally drink No, because it's like that, there's truth behind that joke. There like, is. why are you saying that? You yeah, know, I, but yeah. I, your hair looks super cute short, by the way. Thank you. I love it. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I slid up in a story the other week and I was like, the hair. No, thank you. Like, the I, hair. I feel you. I see you. Yeah. I see you out yeah. there. Yeah. Okay, my turn. Okay, yes. I'll just put it in a little pile. Okay. Hopefully you get a good one. Oh, no. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I'm ready. Okay, just say something. Something. Hey! Oh, f- Sorry, did I break your microphone? Oh my god. <laughs> What's up? I'm so good. How are you? I'm good. I'm ready. I'm here to go. We're here Let's to go, go out. We're gonna go like dance to a party. Like I don't know. I can fight someone too. If anyone's mean to, I'll push them. I'll fight them. I'm ready to fight. I feel like I'm meeting drunk Asher right now. <laughs> what do you mean? Was that an insult? It was. I feel like I'm meeting drunk you right now. I'll fight you. Come, st- <laughs> square up. Square up. No, because I know this is you at the clubs. I know this is you at the clubs. Allegedly. 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 You come home and tell me the stories. <laughs> You're like, guess what I did? I fought a bitch. I'm a little mean. I don't know. Don't, don't like, if you look at me weird when I'm out, sometimes I'm like, ugh. Or I feel like I like that about you because you're definitely the pr- the friend that's protective over their friends. Oh, oh, yeah. If oh, absolutely. I've gotten any, invites from my friends. Exactly. Absolutely. Exactly. That's why I love it. I feel like if someone does that to you, you just kind of like give a dirty look back. But if someone like messes with your friends, you're definitely like yeah. on. No, people don't expect. I'm very confrontational. It's probably because I'm 6'3". So like I use my physical you know, body to be intimidating a little bit. Maybe and I just, I don't take stuff from anyone. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm very confrontational. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Maybe that's why I like disintegrate in confrontational situations. Because <laughs> I just can't. I'm like 5'5". Five, five. What, what do I have to go? What? I, what do I have to like to show for myself? Yeah, but be like, don't, don't touch him like that, <laughs> girl. I'm, I look three. Years I mean, old. I would never lay a finger on someone. Like, I'm, I'm so scared of fights. Like, oh please. no, 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 but not fighting. I could give off the impression that I would fight, but yeah, when it I comes like to it, oh, I'm out. You're also very, very like verbally strategic, and you could like definitely rip somebody to shreds because you have a lot of practice being like on your toes yeah. in terms of like just speaking. Yeah, yeah. Uh, friend that's always at a hundred. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I know you did it, but I'm nervous. I feel like I've said that. Take a shot every time I say I'm nervous. Okay. Oh, this was this was me. Okay. This was me. I'm okay, excited. Hey. Hey. Do you want to go out later? Yeah, sure. Okay. Where? Like, what time were you thinking? Um, like 9:30. 9:30. My curfew is 5:30 p.m. Really? Why? I have to give my parents my phone before I go to bed. Really? Do yeah, you have I do. Life 360? Yeah, I have Life 360, and then I have Find My iPhone, and then they're also like in connect with mm. the police department and mm. the, the microchip that I have in the back of my oh, head. Oh, you have one of those too? Yeah, they have the they have the app on their phone, so they can okay. track what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, they can also track my brain activity, so they okay. know that I'm, oh, wow. I'm having. Yeah. Can they read your brain? They can. Like oh, when shoot. I'm having emotional distress, oh. my mom texts me. Yeah. Oh dang. Yeah, she doesn't check on me, but she wants to make sure that I'm not in a dangerous situation. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the friend that has strict parents. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was me too. Like yeah. not. I mean, my parents were really okay with me like going out and stuff and like doing whatever, hanging out with friends. But like for the most part. I had to, like, always tell them where I was and, like, what I was doing. But they were very, very chill about it. But, like, they were strict. In the- oh, they were very strict about schoolwork. For oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. But also very strict about, like, making sure I was on time for things and, like, getting my work done. Like, I wasn't allowed to hang out with someone if I still had, like, assignments due or whatever. Oh, no. Everything I just said was, like, literally except for the microchip. That was me. <laughs> I couldn't hang out with my fr- with any friend unless my parents had known the parents for, like, 12 years. Oh, really? Yeah. I had I, c- I had to turn in my phone at night. I had oh, to have I had me to too. have like parental Sometimes. locks on my phone so I couldn't text anybody but them throughout the school day. I didn't get a phone until I was 18 and then I didn't like 18? Yeah. What did you
how did you do the internet before? I didn't. So what'd you do, like for fun? Um, I read. Oh my god, but you're poor Sorrel. I ran soul. cross country. Okay. I yeah no Reading no fr- for f- oh my god until eighteen that's crazy. Well, I had a phone for two months when I was fourteen. I talked about this like so much, but then they found out I was texting a girl and they were like, "Give me that." I had a phone in fifth grade. Fifth grade. My parents were very chill about that stuff. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. My dad was like, "If you if you have a phone, somebody's gonna come kidnap you in the middle of the night." Well, I was close a couple times, so <laughs> oh my god, you were the best. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad. I don't um, know about no, that. I, I I don't complain about it now. I speak about it very fondly because I am so glad because my digital footprint would have been so messy. Oh lord, don't even talk about my <laughs> musically days. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I, I look back at my 2019 TikToks and I'm like, someone shoot me. Oh, so oh, minus yeah, we don't go there. But I leave it on my TikTok account as like an Easter egg. If anyone wants to like scroll down far enough, they can see what I was up to. Oh, I'm so happy I got this one. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's up? What are you doing? Hey, I don't know. What are you doing? I'm just sitting. Oh, I'm standing. Okay. One time when I was standing, um, I looked down because I felt like this weird, like, mushy thing underneath my foot. And I was like, oh, maybe it's, like, the carpet or whatever. I looked down. It was a hamster. <gasps> it was my hamster. His name was Belly. And I accidentally stood on him for, like, a long time. For, like, 20 minutes while I was just, like, standing making breakfast one morning. For a really long time, and by the time I looked back down, it was no longer a lump. It was a carpet of hamster fur. Was Belly, like, stuck to your big toe for the rest of the day? Oh, Belly was stuck to my shoe. I still have the shoe with Belly's fur on it. Oh, that got dark. That was (laughs) crazy. That got dark. (laughs) Yeah, that's just my little little Belly shrine. But yeah, I mean, that was obvious, that one. No, I love that. I love that. (laughs) I don't know why I thought of Belly as the name, too. That's weird. Well, of course. It was the it was the traumatic. I didn't know how to do that one without giving it away. I'm glad you got that one because hear me out, I never had a hamster growing uh-huh. up. I was never we didn't get pets for a long time. But there was this one moment when I was in like I was maybe like seven. We were having like a really good day. We had just got to church and we were driving. For some reason, me and my siblings that day decided to pick the craziest fight with each other. <laughs> and we were just being the absolute biggest little shit. And we were like driving home and my dad pulls into the pet mar- pet smart parking lot and we were like, Dad, why are we here? Mm-hmm. And he was like well, I just wanted to show you that we would have gotten a hamster if you guys didn't just absolutely lose your mind. Did he just like pull that out of his butt? Or I have no like, idea. Like, were you actually going to get a hamster? To this day, every time I bring it up, he's like, oh, I don't remember that. And I'm like, you pulled this into the parking lot and said, this is what could have been, and then drove away. Okay, but I would do that too if I was a dad. And then, <laughs> and then so well, it, it got to the point. It also was like, okay, if you were trying to like threaten us in any in any way and being like, you could have had this, you just made it worse because now we're not getting it and now there's no incentive to, to, to behave. Right. Oh, so true. Because if we had just, if he pulled into that parking lot, got us a hamster, we would we, have been the most you, perfect little angels. Right. I get you. We would have been sat. Yeah. You would have been all, mute. Look around. Everybody on mute. On mute. <laughs> every, like every second of every day, mm-hmm. we've been like the most perfect angel children. But no. What do we do? We just made it worse. And yeah. we pouted and we screamed and we were like, we promise. And he was like, no. So I don't think that worked out in his favor. No, I was just like the the hamster story that I just, it lives in my brain is when I was like in sixth grade, I had advisory with this girl and she was talking about like how she used to have these two pet hamsters. And one day she went outside to play with them and I'm from Miami. So it's like really hot, right? For reference. And so she was like outside with the hamsters playing with them, like playing Barbie or whatever with her hamsters. And like, she like left to go get lunch, came back and they started playing with them again. Turns out two hours later, they were dead. She left them in the sun. Yep. And she played with dead hamsters for two hours. So... Were they in a cage? I'm no, they were just free range, and they didn't run away because they, were, because they were dead. Yeah, they baked alive. Did they not like seek shade? You know, she was holding them, so I don't know. Maybe they did, but they were kidnapped by her hands. So, oh God, <laughs> so sad, so dark. But that's the video. You know, that's the story that the, that spawned my video. The only kind of experience I have with like weird things happening to pets is like. What are those little crabs that you're definitely hermit crabs? I hate crabs. Oh, I hate crabs. I actually saw Ooh. the saddest video about hermit crabs, and it was how like they're actually really kind and loving, and they're like Ooh. the one creature in captivity that should definitely not be in captivity. Oh, no. And it was this girl who like goes and buys and rescues them. And do you know how big they can get if they're kept like really well? They were like this big. And <gasps> that she, freaks me out. She had well, yeah, but like mm. besides the fact that they look like literally warped octopi. They're spiders that like are hard. They are. You know, they're sea, they're sea spiders. But, like, moving past the fact that the literal, like, ocean arachnids, they were, like, fully grown and developed. And they were, like, 
they had this like beautiful cage and it was actually really heartwarming and I like I was crying at these hermit crabs because then I was just thinking I went to go visit Myrtle Beach and there were just so many with like the painted shells and they were just oh way too I tight. went to Myrtle Beach too with um with Carter actually really yeah we went to Myrtle Beach together all right moving forward oh I, I like this one a lot okay. all right hey hey how are you? I'm doing really swell. Yeah? Yeah. I actually think I saw your mom at the grocery store the other day. And then I, it just hit me. Like, I don't know what she does for a living. What does your mom do? Oh, my mom, she is a banker. A banker? Yeah. Wow. My dad has actually, like, the private pilot for the president. Yeah. She, he what? He's a private pilot for, for the president. What do you mean? He, like, flies the president Yeah, he's just, like, flies So you know the president? Yeah, I do. We, we actually hang out with him every Sunday. Yeah. What? We go to church together. Oh, no way. Yeah that's interesting yeah. okay so then, you can give me the insider secrets yeah and then my third removed cousin is actually shakira i love shakira ole, ole. Ole, ole. <laughs> that's pretty good <laughs> okay that's the friend that just randomly brings up facts about their life it's based i made two videos to that both are based off my one friend because she one day randomly was like oh yeah i, I grew up in france she grew up in france and I was, that was the craziest thing ever <laughs> i was like i had no clue i think the craziest thing about like friends that you don't know a whole bunch about is like that you probably have like a really in-depth friendship yeah, where you're oh like, we're best friends right where her. you're like oh my gosh you know like i have a homie from like all the way across the country and she lives in like New Jersey or something and I've known her for three years coming up on four at this point and I didn't know until last year that she has like four brothers <laughs> oh that I she, so my friend has an identical twin I had no clue for the first year I knew her until one day she's like yeah my twin is visiting I was like what are you talking about twin shows up they're literally identical it was the craziest mind blown like Have experience you, are, are you like in person friends oh she's one of my closest friends like I, we hang out every single day. I feel like those kinds of friends are usually like friends that you meet online and then you have friends and then you're like, oh yeah, I know your dog. I know a lot about your life. I know what you do for work. I know your like deepest, darkest secrets, but you have two moms? No, the thing is I know all those things about her and then all of a sudden it's just like a random fact. I'm like, whoa, okay, where'd that yeah. come from? Yeah, no, I love those friends. It's like you never really know what's coming. No, it's, it's And especially if there's like, there's, if there's one secret, there's more. Oh, so true. I'm still learning to this day. Okay, last one, right? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you excited? I'm really excited. Okay, crumple that hoe. You know, what's crazy? What's wild? You and me here together, just living the world like we're two little souls, two little dots on a grid trying to make a line, a segment together towards the future, if you know what I mean. We just live in a paper town. We live in... With paper people. A paper town with flat Stanleys as our neighbor. <laughs> and I have a flat Stanley as my mom. And my heart is made of paper. And the fact that I'm here with you makes my heart not made of paper, if you know what I mean. We're 3D and everybody else is just flat. We're 3D and in color and every, everyone else is just black and white on a piece of paper. And we're gray. And we're Earl Gray. <laughs> <laughs> that is the friend that is constantly living in a coming of age story. Yeah, absolutely. I feel like that sometimes. I'll be driving home and I just think I'm just like in this like pivotal moment in my life. And I'm like, wow, changes are occurring and life is moving forward. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, shut up. It's always when it's raining and I'm playing a sad song and I'm not driving. I hate driving. But like I'm sitting in the passenger seat and I'm looking at the- Or I'm in an Uber and I'm looking out the window and it's just. Oh, wow. Like a song comes on. I'm like, wow, where are we right now? <laughs> like I could be anywhere else, but I'm here right I, now. Oh, my gosh. I was so like that in college. My, I said this to my girlfriend the other day and she humbled me so hard i was just like my favorite moments in time are when i'm alone and nobody else knows where i am and i don't have my phone and if anybody wanted to they couldn't even know where i was and she was like girl <laughs> get a grip <laughs> she was like that is unsafe that is, is. irresponsible yeah. in this economy you constantly like she has my location she oh knows i have ten thousand people's location it's like her love language she's just like all oh, my minions and no. then she's going out i'm like how do you have like 30 people on find my iphone it's like girl. a new social media app i'm like oh what are my friends up to and i'll like stalk all of them i'll be like eating my rum and waiting for her to come over and i'll just have my fi i find my iphone out just like on the counter and i'll just be like well she's five minutes away i do that to carter too and i'm like where is he it's so crazy but that carter's always random places he's in the most <laughs> random of places like he'll be at, i don't i don't even know he'll be at like a like an improv show and i'm like it's a, a wednesday like what are you he's doing he's always up to something he's always up to something i'll track it i'm, and I'm like why are you in france mm -hmm. like <laughs> so <wh> true <laughs> so true why are you michigan <laughs> yeah no seriously I'll be like, where are you? And he'll be like, Alabama at a frat party <laughs> with women. And I'm like, what the f What are you even talking about? So funny. So yes. true. That could have been a fun little prompt as well. But yeah, that's definitely Carter. Yeah.
Well, we are starting out today with our queer moment in history. And if you don't know what that is, we did have to explain it to you. Every <laughs> single week, pick out a queer moment in history, and it was just pivotal to like the queer experience, queer culture. And this week, Asher knows what it is better than I do, which is so fun and exciting because the, one of the main things that I think about when I think about Asher is drag. Uh -huh. We sat in our hotel room and watched RuPaul's Drag mm -hmm, Race. Mm -hmm. he, yeah, you're so pumped right now. Love it. It's my I, favorite topic. <laughs> every time I'm around him, he's like, have you seen drag? And I'm like, okay. No, I forced you to watch it. Yes. 100%. I was like, I don't care what we're doing. Was, we're watching this. I was entertained. We watched three dance battles and like two lip sync battles. And it was incredible. Yeah. Yeah. It's my, it's my life. Life was it. altered. Yeah. You also got us into Survivor. Yep. Yep. You said that list was so helpful. Carter texted Asher and was like, dude, I, we need just something to watch together because like that's what Carter and I do when we have like a long hard day we just watch an episode of something together it's like you know you have a show with right. somebody and you're like okay yeah. we only watch this show with each other that was me and Carter with Survivor and so we knew that you were the Survivor expert yeah and you texted us a list of all the best seasons and they're so good I'm so happy that you guys actually watched it because I recommend it all the time to my friends really yeah and no one watches it we watched like five seasons I'm like I'm back so to back to back we downloaded them before getting on planes oh, and so we were happy. like just like with my phone like the between the seats like airpods connected to my phone and it was it was really incredible yeah, yeah. no i'm so happy i reality tv is like i'm obsessed and it all was all that stuff really yeah i love a good binge yeah. if, if you had to pick any like reality show to go on what would you what would you survivor do? i've auditioned four times <gasps> wait what's the audition process like for you that? just have to submit a video like a three minute video of yourself just talking about why you'd be good to be on it well today on a queer moment in history, we are watching drag. So the queer moment in history that we're talking about, season nine of RuPaul's Drag Race, it's okay. the season finale. Okay. There is the final four, and it's a new thing that they're doing this season where they're forcing the final four to do a lip sync battle against each other. So it's like a lip sync tournament. <gasps> so it's like two versus two, the winners of each battle for the crown. So it's like never been done before. It's always in a final three. This is the first season of final four. And like the talent this season was like next level. So the, the favorite to win was this queen named Shea Coulee. Okay. And in the first round, she's going up against like the next queen, in my opinion, to win, who is Sasha Velour. And they're against each other in the first round, which okay. is like really drama. I was going like, to say top two and bottom two together, or I would assume they would no, they, kind like, of. No, they like spin a wheel to like see who battles against each other. That's no, it was smart. it was really gag worthy. It was crazy. So no, we're all we're sitting <laughs> Choking there. Choking myself out Oh, and I actually it. was watching this with my mom too. I and my that. sister live like on TV. Because yeah. like, yeah, oh, I was. wait, this is the most recent season. Though. No, this was season nine. This was a long time ago. I was like in middle school, I think. How like many seasons are there? Oh, they're on season 16. So, have and it's coming out soon. Have you seen all of them? Of course. Oh my yeah, gosh. it's great. I would love to be interested in this kind of stuff. I literally just like space out and then I'm like, oh, after rewind like the past five minutes, it also happens when I'm reading and I'm like, what did I just oh, pass to pair? For that, I, I, yeah, there's not a thought that goes in my head when I'm reading. I'm actually thinking about Drag Race when I'm reading. I'm thinking about <laughs> really? other shows. No, I cannot. <laughs> yeah, Where's work. the remote? Yeah, but that's why I like Drag Race. It's like constant like, <gasps> I know these bitches are confronting each other. Oh, yeah. I know they're up in each other's business, oh, yeah. pointing the fingers, doing the claps in the oh, face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know that's what they're up to. And so for me, it's like, I was watching Mean Girls for the first time the other day, and I was literally like in recoiled in my seat. I can't do moments of confrontation or really? awkward moments. I genuinely mm. just like, there's something about it where I have like a, my entire nervous system reacts. I get that. I don't like it when it's awkward. It makes me like, I, I have to sometimes yeah. fast forward if, did if you, it's awkward. But... Did you watch the queer ultimatum? No. Okay. There's, one, there's a queer ultimatum. It's like all women, yeah. Oh no, I did not watch that. Yeah, there is a queer ultimatum. I think mm. that, I think a gay guy one would be super interesting because men oh, are just so like oh so messy. Uh, they're just so like inverted with their feelings. I yeah, feel like, yeah. but not gay men. I think. No, it would be messy as hell. There'd be people on there to like start drama on purpose. Well, there. Oh yeah. Well, they. I t I had one of the people who were on who was on the queer ultimatum. Lexi was on the show, and she came on my podcast and we talked about it. And I got more like an in depth look after the fact. Mm -hmm. She was one of the people on the show that I was like, oh man, I'm having a really hard time watch this because she was like pointing the fingers and she was like oh you did this to my girlfriend and i was like oh my god like i can't oh no i, I love i live for it and then i watched the edits of it on tiktok where the they're edits like, they're like bad bitch music in the background and it's like the point it's like on the point on repeat oh i love it oh my god the song thing. pony okay I'm, okay oh wait I'm I, I have to finish setting it up oh the, oh <laughs> I'm almost done I'm okay almost done. that wasn't it okay no I'm no so sorry. i'm sorry i, I like i'm a going. big talker um so the first round sasha velour versus shea coulee we had never seen sasha velour lip sync before she was never in the bottom in the whole season so we've never <laughs> seen what she could do we, she was like this artistic smart queen you know okay so we're all expecting shea coulee to demolish sasha velour in this lip sync so here's what happens before this starts i'm gonna need you to point out who's who okay yeah, i got you oh 
okay. of the roses, right? Cute. Where did they come from? Right. Uh-huh. Chills. Chills. And in that moment, it was over. She knew. And in, yeah. The other girl knew. Oh, yeah. In that moment, it was over for Shea Coulee. We, it was over. And the audience scream was so loud, apparently, like, you couldn't hear anything else. And it went on for so long. Like, that was crazy. Like, oh. Oh, my gosh. And so, oh, my gosh, I have so many questions. Yeah. I mean, you could see it on the other queen's face. She knew she was done. Oh, done. Yeah. Because, wow. We, but, <laughs> question A. Yeah. Where did the roses keep coming from? Uh, to this day, I don't know. I don't know, <laughs> yeah. that, I don't know the I've, answer to I've hyperanalyzed every single frame of every single oh, clip yeah. that I can't find. No one knows. No. That's wild. Yeah. And so did she win the season? Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, that moment was like, oh, clear winner now. Yeah. And she's gone on to do, like, incredible things. Like, she's like, one of the best winners, hands down. Whoa. Yeah. One of my favorite things, obviously, I feel like this isn't a very profound sentence, but the innovation to excite when it comes to drag queens. Yeah. Like, yeah, th they're incredible. And the reason why this is so, like, monumental is because before that, there was, like, very little reveals, like, in these lip syncs. It was more just, like, people lip syncing, doing tricks or whatever. And this was, like, one of the first moments where it's, like, you have to do a reveal. And from then on, basically every finale lip sync has had a reveal in it. Because, reveal like, this set the standard. Wait, what is it? Like, a reveal is, like, you change your outfit or you change your wig or something comes out that you didn't expect. Like, you have to have an extra layer on top of just lip syncing and it was because of that lip sync i would have a live dub in my pants and i'd just be like Fuck. oh they've done they've done all of that stuff yeah there's like a real bird that no comes there up. was but oh there was a butterfly one it was pretty bad <laughs> did, the butterfly, did it die oh yeah they were dead <laughs> um so she she unleashed the butterflies and they fell on the floor because <laughs> they were dead and then she like stomped on them <laughs> while, she was, <laughs> while she finished the dance yeah that was a hard watch are you serious oh, yeah yeah did she get sent home yeah <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Live murder. Oh, that was... Oh, you could see the audience, too. Everyone... <laughs> Ooh, look around. Everyone was on mute. Like, <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. That sounds so yeah. horrible. I thought I had such a, like, <laughs> cool idea. And then the, the butterflies are... Oh, yeah. yeah. There's just blood stains <laughs> all over the floor. <laughs> That's crazy and horrible. Yeah. I was going to say, I hope they're okay, but they're dead. <laughs> um, okay, well, that has been our queer moment in history. I'm definitely going to, like... I feel like every time I see you and every time like we hang out, you show me something drag. Yeah. Which obviously, we had to incorporate. Yeah. It's very niche, very you. I have to give it a chance. I have to watch it. So could you do the same thing and send me the best season? Absolutely. Oh, oh, I got you. Okay. Oh, I got you. And okay. the new season's coming out in like two weeks. So okay. we're gonna get into a new season. Like, okay. No one knows anything about the new yeah. season. That's why it's fun. I, I kind of love older seasons yeah. of very popular TV shows that have like. 30 seasons and i'm not talking about freaking gray's anatomy okay I'm <laughs> i've talking never about, seen it either i'm talking about mm. like live shows like mm -hmm. drag and like stuff like that like survivor 45 seasons 45 seasons yeah. and i've seen every single one probably more than once jeff probst man mm -hmm. batty this has been our queer moment in history and i've absolutely loved every second of it Well, thank you so much for joining us. That's probably one of my most fun segments. Conversations with him is always so easy. I was I was looking forward to having Aww. you on here. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. Like I came to LA for this. Mm, that's like, literally. so nice. Yeah. That's so sweet. Well, you're definitely one of my favorite people that I see just like out Aww. and about and around. And I think it's just so it's just so exciting every Aww. time I get to see you. I feel like I don't know. Plus I watch your videos, so I'm like also still like a fan and I'm like, oh, oh my gosh, you. you're so funny. Um but who are you? Where can we find you? What are you up to? What's exciting in your life? I'm Asher, Stinky Asher, the worst username in the entire world, but at this point it's iconic and I love it. Um, yeah. I am Stinky Asher on everything. Um, I'm in college, just finished my second to last semester, senior year, so I have one semester left, which is crazy, and then who knows what I will be up to, but it will not be good. Okay. And then um, anything exciting in my life? Literally, this trip to LA is like the most exciting thing, which is it is exciting. No, that is exciting. And so I'm I'm, I'm excited to be here. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I was loving you're in town, and then eventually you said you get you might move here. I, I yeah. So we're gonna be closer friends. Oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, Carter yeah. and I need more. Friends. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't even know where I'm gonna live yet, but I'm like pondering no. your neighborhood because I I loved it, it nice. when I visited. If you come over, you can kind of take a gander, and it's definitely more of like the suburby area. Mm -hmm. The only thing is the freaking plane noise that sucks. So I'm, I'll be like Ooh. mid mid riff in a video, and then it'll Ooh. be like. Well, anything's better than I live on the streets of Philadelphia, literally. Well, don't so. just my only advice is don't move to Hollywood. Okay. 
Noted. And Thank you. I have been your host, Maddie Westbrook. Thank you so much for joining me on Closet Talk. This will be released on my YouTube channel every single Friday. You can find me, Maddie Westbrook, at Westbrook, absolutely anywhere. And when I say anywhere, I mean anywhere, except now we have to clarify not OnlyFans. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time.